seems I've I've caught a little bit of a bug. A knife maker's bug. <coughs> it's actually kind of serious. Yo everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crafted by Tim. Now I want to make knives again, but uh, obviously it's too hot to do that. But I came across an interesting tool that I thought I wouldn't need because I was doing the hydraulic press. By the way, that didn't work. I thought now would be a good time to actually uh, make one of these. And this is a, a what's known as a uh, blacksmith skill team. Uh, and the idea behind it is it, it works like a very precise pinching jig. You have your ram, you have an anvil, and it basically just shuts off little areas and you can get different dyes for them. You, you can get ones that basically just isolate material, which is what I'm going for, or you can get ones that have hot cut tools on them and stuff like that. And you can buy these, or you can make one, and I'm going to make one today. So let's jump straight into it and I'll show you what we need. So for this, I've got a few uh, little bits and pieces. I've got a 25mm uh, square tubing that fits nicely into my hardy hole i've got this i think this is a 20 mil yep 20 mil uh, square stock i've got some uh what's that 16 mil um square stock 20 mil square tubing i've also got some 12 millimeter round stock and just a uh, a short section 12 millimeter flat bar the general setup for this is I want to um, move this slightly further away from my edge here so that I can fit longer pieces in. So I'm going to take this section that I've marked off here. I'm not really working with specific dimensions. Uh, that piece is going to go up there and it's going to move this one off one thickness of this. This piece up here is going to become the ram. That is going to get welded to the base of the ram and I have the top and the bottom of um, my dies, which are going to go something like that. Pretty basic setup. Yeah, let's just get started then.
there you have it. Like, uh, my welding is needs work. I mean, this side turned out alright. Not, not too upset about that welding, but the other side is ill. A lot of ill. I need to work on my welding, and hopefully that'll be something that I get to work on over the next few months. But as you can see, it's not bad. It gives you a good bit of range there. I don't know how much of range that is. One and a quarter inches or so for the rest of the world. About three centimeters. You might be able to get, uh, yeah, three centimeters is probably your max. It's not a bad size. And as you saw, even with my anvil the way it is, where it's like barely bolted down, it didn't jump around too much. So I'm pretty pleased with that. It works. It's functional. It's ugly. It's ugly as all hell, but it's functional. I can't give this like a proper full-on test yet, because obviously summer and whatnot. Um, but what I would be willing to do is at the start of winter I'd probably just throw this holeless bolus into the forge, heat it up to a nice cherry red and then dunk it in oil and hopefully that will give it a nice protective uh, black oxide coating. It's functional, it works and I'm happy with it for now. This probably will uh, evolve over time, I don't know how but it probably will. So. When that day comes, I'll let you guys know. All right, so that's the end of this video, more or less. But there is some big news coming. I reckon by the time this video comes out, I would have made headway on it. Like, uh... there's something big coming to the shed and I'm really pumped about it. Uh, and, and it's one of the reasons why I've been uh, looking at uh, knife making videos again. So by the time this video comes out, I would have probably ordered it and hopefully it will be on its way. I'm super excited about this about this thing that's that's coming. Really pumped. I hope you guys stick around to see that. Um, make sure you subscribe. So you not only get to see what the big news is, but you also get to see me use uh, this little guillotine contraption. Really excited for the future guys. Big things are happening. I'm. Uh, I'm just really excited. But in the meantime, remember to stay safe, happy crafting, and as always, cheers.